Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show on this Tuesday. Now, of course, we have an exciting performance for you today. Now, of course, with the performing arts industry hard hit during the COVID-19 pandemic, it was with much joy that the Cape Town City Ballet returned to the stage this past December in a once-off performance to a standing ovation. And we are here to see it. Well, you know what? It's very exciting because this exquisite program is being performed again in the up and coming back on stage showcase that's taking place at the Artscape Theatre Centre in Cape Town and the Playhouse Theatre in Durban. And we are joined this morning right now by Cape Town City Ballet's Mer Mervyn Williams alongside choreographer Marlon Zotman to share a little bit more with us with what is in store for this up and coming production of Back on Stage. Mervyn, I'm going to start with you because I know that there are two different styles being incorporated on the back on stage one and I feel like I need to to to, to highlight the two the first one is the Russian American choreographer George Balinch Balinchy's work um, of serenade as well as the suit work that's done by the South African choreographers during COVID which is called moon behind the clouds now I've just said a bunch of terms here that doesn't make <laughs> sense to our viewers at home but because you understand the world of ballet a lot more than me. Please unpack it for us. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Serenade was, was choreographed by George Balanchine in 1934. Um, it was choreographed to the music of Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings in C. Also, it was choreographed for, for 26 dancers on stage, all dressed in blue with a blue backdrop. So the focus is basically on the body form and the movement that goes with that. And George Balanchin worked with, with um, Tchaikovsky's music because he enjoyed and loved working with Tchaikovsky. Uh, the, the ballet was, was um, produced for us by uh, Rebecca Metzger from, from America. And she came down with, um, with the Balanchin, George Balanchin's Foundation Trust. And they, they allowed her to produce the, and stage the ballet for us. Yes. That is amazing. And then also with, with um, um, Behind the Clouds, um, we have our local choreographers, all Cape Town based, because during COVID we weren't able to get people into to, or travel via, uh, via air. Mm. Um, so we, we, we found it was, it was fine to use our own local, local choreographers uh, um, doing works with a company that is completely different to, to, um, to the normal ballet. It is obviously um, the technique, the ballet technique is strong with, throughout, but the genre is different. You have contemporary, you have modern, and all of those things. And the company is excited to go back on stage after such a long break. Well, that's why it's called Back On Stage, and I can just imagine using South African choreographers, you're adding that South African flavor. Yes. We have a very unique style to us. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. And Martin, maybe you can speak about that, because you're obviously part of the local choreographers that's part of this production. What was it like to be able to create work, you know, during the COVID-19 space, and the space that we're in now, and just put your work out there again, and be in collaboration with such an amazing production? Um, I think it was a challenge for both the dancers and the choreographers because you have to go into, you have to um, adapt to the new norms, which is basically um, social distancing, mask. Um, normally, as a choreographer, you're more physical. You want to touch the dancers, show them what to do. Mm -hmm. So there is now this distance between you and the um, dancers. And um, so I think that was challenging also the, because the dancers was not active a lot because of the lockdown, some some of them got injured. So it's also that if somebody gets COVID, that was also so. It just creates. Uh, it was. Um, it's, there's just a lot of tension when you're working like that during COVID, where normally everything would just be free and open. And mm. now with this new normal, it just was, it was more difficult and challenging. And for the dancers as well, because they have to dance with a mask, they can't breathe, they, um, you know, they can't make it through the work. So stamina. So it was. There was a lot of challenges for both uh, myself and the dancers. I can just imagine, I mean, it's, you know, we take our hats off to you for being able to still put this production together, despite the different challenges that's in play. Now, Mervyn, I have a question for you regarding, I know that this is going to be, this, these performances are also honoring. It is also a tribute to two custodians. The first one being that of um, 
David Bloomberg, as well as that of Percy Tucker. Now, what does it mean for you and the company to be able to pay tribute to these two? They were two very prolific figures within the arts industry. David Bloomberg, um, he was a former lawyer of, in, in Cape Town. Uh, he married a, a South African ballerina, Toby Fine, and with David Bloomberg and his family, they created, in memory of his wife, the Toby Fine Ballet Trust. And with that ballet trust, we were able and possible to bring in Serenade from America. Um, so we're very grateful for, for, for what David has done within, because he's quite a prolific, prolific figure within um, the arts in South Africa. Percy Tucker, he's been a long-standing board member with Cape Town City Ballet. He's been a great supporter of Cape Town City Ballet. He's also um, yeah, just been there for us, and he was a gentle giant. Whenever we required uh, Percy Tucker, he was there. And suffice to say that he was also the founder member of CompuTicket. Okay. Yes. Amazing. Well, Mervyn and Marlon, they are here with us this morning, of course, showing us that Back on Stage is going to be at the Artscape Theatre as well as the Playhouse in Durban. If you would love to support the uh, Cape Town City Ballet, get them back on stage at the Artscape from the 18th to the 20th of March and then at Durban's Playhouse Theatre on the 27th and 28th of March. Seating is limited due to COVID-19, so be sure to grab your tickets. They are available right now at CompuTicket. Dot com and we also will be having three mesmerizing performances for you so don't go anywhere stay tuned to your feel good breakfast show